what would you think are the key sort of uh, attributes to have when you are trying to uh, navigate a new sort of era? Well, okay, for one, we've got a new era, but uh, what comes ahead? You know, the uncertainties. Right. I think if I may just uh, wait in first and then Sue Young, you can shoot it down. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I, I I think one of the areas would probably be, you know, um, the the new digital economy, so to speak, right? And I'm not referring to the definitions of, of the past. I'm actually referring more towards like the metaverse, okay? Uh, or Web 3.0. And I'm actually, uh, and it's actually a very great and exciting area right now. Uh, I think there are opportunities, but the opportunities are also very uh, gray as well, right? Because it's it's almost like a, car, a cowboy kind of territory as well. But you have brands that are actually doing well. I mean, for example, uh, Nike's, Nike rolled out Nike Land back in November of 2021. And uh, what was uh, supposedly an experiment is now still carrying on because Nike's digital strategy uh, have actually contributed to 26% of its of his uh, total uh, brand value, of, of his total revenue value, sorry. Uh, and the metaverse uh, engagement is actually part of that digital strategy. Uh, so you have actually things that are working for, for some brands because they, they know how to actually make use of a medium like the, like the metaverse. In this case, it's Roblox, basically. So the question is this, is there an opportunity for people in the in the populace to be able to partake in a economy in the metaverse and to, to benefit from it both ways consumers and also corporates as well right yeah uh, are there certain okay. industries that are more suited towards the metaverse and those sort of uh, new digital areas that we're looking at so right now it seems to be more of the those who have a gamified uh, uh, um, approach. So more, so if you, are, if you have a game or you have some sort of gamified uh, 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 environment uh, where people are able to, to do uh, an activity uh, akin to a game, uh, that would be more likely to succeed than one that's just strictly based on, oh, let's get together and let's, and let's uh, socialize. I think that tends to fail. In fact, I think uh, there was a local brand that, had a rather cutesy uh, metaverse experience and very cute characters, but it, it, it flopped. I can't remember the brand name though, but uh, but since it flopped, it's not really nice to mention it here. Uh, yeah. So why did it flop? Just cutesy. Just, there, was no, there was no reason to believe. There's no purpose behind it. Right? Yeah. So, so, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yes, yes. I am totally in support of the going going big into the metaverse unfortunately we are a bit early days as to yeah. which metaverse platforms and it would take quite a bit of investment and and such large scale investments into i i would consider metaverse as an infrastructure so if it is an infrastructure is a platform we need uh, investments that come from uh, government plus uh, risk risk money but you see, uh, the example of having uh, drones being flown from the ground, and if the drone were a 747 aircraft, meaning the pilot and the co-pilot would lose their jobs. Uh, yeah. Autonomous vehicles um, may cause a lot of drivers, or even the traffic policemen could lose their job. The traffic auntie would lose her job because autonomous vehicles would not flout the rules by parking any old how, right? So when people lose their jobs and it is difficult to find meaningful, very high skill jobs for them anymore, they become consumers in the metaverse. They consume content. And other than the two constituents that Nick mentioned, which is um, the, the, the brands that are going on it and, and the, the metaverse uh, technology providers, we another group, uh, sorry, the, the consumers plus the technology people, the other group is the content maker. And you could then gear some of our, in, in future, you wouldn't just be the older person losing his job. The car mechanic with fewer car parts in the electric vehicle, we need fewer car mechanics anyway. But even the 30-year-old car mechanic could find that, hey, my, I'm, uh, no more engine gearbox for me to fix. I lost my job. He can become a content creator, putting on content on culture, history, cooking, uh, stitching, sewing, on metaverse 
So do we, we have a platform that has got to be somehow find the investment to make it steady and usable. That's infrastructure. We'll have the consumers. And then we have these new jobs of people who are creating content and providing services in the metaverse. And yeah. everybody would be paid a little bit for, for their content. So, so if you look at it, I think, uh, Su Young, I think you, you actually uh, touched one area which is very important, which is about uh, the content creation, right? So if you look at the metaverse, there are basically two, uh, there are three broad areas. So one is the, the centralized based metaverse, like for example, Horizon Worlds owned by Meta. Then you've got uh, Roblox as well, which is owned by uh, the Roblox Corporation, right? Decentraland. Decentralized. So, so decentralized yeah. will be the decentralized base where it's owned by users and owned by com- and run by communities, similar to Sandbox as well, right? Then you got the gaming. Uh, then you got spatial as well, right? Yeah. Um, so the thing is, about spatial is more of a of a of a centralized metaverse because it's actually run by a, 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 by a company. You don't own land, so when you get to own land you tend to have the decentralized base metaverse, you see, because then you can create content, you can put your own stuff, but then you can, you have to abide by community guidelines. Yeah. Uh, and I think the, 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 the area that is very exciting right now for the metaverse developments are the gamers or the gaming platforms, like for example, Sony PlayStation, right? Uh, for example, Fortnite, right? Uh, Xbox, all these, all these environments are actually moving more towards trying to tap into the gaming metaverse experience. And you talk about content creation, yes. You talk about uh, having uh, uh, support to support of individuals to, to be in that industry, in that ecosystem, to be able to play a supportive role as well. It's also going to be quite exciting, you know. Uh, and then yes. you're going to have what the, the, the potential of having non-player characters, uh, you know, being very pervasive in the in the traditional metaverse, which is like what I mentioned, the centralized or decentralized based metaverse. And how would that be managed and would that require a collaborative intelligence uh, management of it? So a human getting involved in it, right? Uh, so it's actually going to be quite exciting. Then you have the Apple and, and Microsoft looking into the HoloLens, the AR, MR uh, glasses approach where you interact, uh, we, we, we interact with a hybridized world, right? So you yeah. use the real world with a, with a, with a, with a, uh, augmented with a platform. And that will also be a different kind of, you know, engagement altogether. But the point to note is that it's going to be exciting. That's for sure.